All right, so here I am at the trailhead of the Sespi. Oh man, it's beautiful out here. It's quiet too. Listen. If you listen carefully, you can hear the water. There it is, there's the Sespi. All right, I'm on my way. So as I'm walking down the trail, comes to mind, I didn't bring my knife. Uh, anyway, uh, it's too far. I'm too much committed right now to go back for my little knife. Anyway, it won't be the death of me, but it can make certain things inconvenient. And I'm continuing on. Here's what I'm looking at. morning everyone all right uh, I made it through the light night my first night last night out here on the Sespi and uh, <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie it was a cold one <laughs> but, but it was it was beautiful it was a full moon all night long perfectly clear skies beautiful spot here's where I am it's about nine o'clock in the morning And there's the Sespi River. The sun's up. Thank God for the warmth of the sun. I'm finally warm enough to where I feel like making a video. Look at this beautiful swimming hole here. Jeez. All right. All the way down there. Oh, it looks like there's a little bit of a shelter over there I didn't see. Anyway, uh, there's the tree I hung my food in. There's my sleeping bag. There's my sleeping pad and my tea that I just thing uh, warmed up. And uh, there's my water container, which was slushy this morning. That's how I know it got down to 32 degrees. The stove, and there's my bivy sack. Uh, so basically, I just slept with the pad, sleeping bag, and bivy sack. And I was really warm, perfectly warm until about 3 in the morning. And then I started to get cold. By about 4, my feet were cold. My hips were cold, and by about five I had to go to the bathroom so bad I had to get up, and oh man, by the time I got back in my sleeping bag, I was shivering, and I, it was about five, and I knew I had, so I just hung in there for about an hour and a half till it started to get light, and then I got up, went for a, a, about a half an hour walk slash run to warm up, came back, the sun was up. And uh, I am here to tell the tale. So tomorrow night, or tonight, I mean, uh, I should be at the hot springs. and uh, Which means at 5 in the morning if I get frozen, I can get in the hot springs. Alright, well, thank you. Thank you for this beautiful spot. Peace.
All right, well, it is 10 o'clock and I am headed out towards the hot springs. Uh, here's what I'm looking at. All right, and it's a miracle I didn't trip on anything while I was doing that. Uh, all right, well, here we come up to a crest in the hill. This pack is certainly heavier than I would really like it to be, but I want to go short on food, that's for sure. Aha, there's the Cespi. Wow. Look at that run. I don't know. I haven't seen any fish in that river, but it sure seems like there should be fish in that river. Peace. Okay, I think this is the entrance to Willet Hot Spring. It was a heck of a hike to get up here. There seems to be this nice campground here, but it was a hard climb up here. All right, well, let's go see. Let's go see. Oh yeah, now I can smell the hot springs, and there it is, right there, okay, so let's have a look. Uh-huh, wow. All right, here's the trail to Willet Hot Springs. Very, very uphill. It's a good climb. Good workout first thing in the morning. It's, uh, let's see, Saturday day three for me. There's the, down into the creek. Here's what I'm overlooking here. Down in, the valley there is the Sespe Creek. Over there is where I came from. That's where I'm headed. There's where the trail is. Down, down, down. All right. Off I go to the hot springs. Okay, here it is. Willet Hot Springs. Peace, my friends, peace. Okay, well, it is the start of day three. Um, I'm headed for Sespe Hot Springs. I was just up at Willet Hot Springs. Uh, and I, so here's the, where I came from, over here. And then I hiked in over here, and if you go up this canyon right here, 
and up to the right there, way up there, is, is Willet Hot Springs. And I camped down over here along the river. There's some cabins. I camped in one old cabin. And uh, it was uh, a little bit spooky. There were some other things living in that cabin, uh, little critters. But I was up on a sprung, uh, like a, a cot with this like a springs on it so there was no mattress on it uh and uh it got me up off the ground and out of the wind it was really windy last night i glad i'm glad i had a sheltered spot um because it was pretty cold the uh, the night before but dead calm anyway uh so i'm off to sespi hot springs i'm excited i can't wait to see what sespi hot springs but uh, i got about uh three hours uh, of uh walking to get there all right talk to you later All right, it's day three. Probably, uh, it's about 4.30, I guess, <clears throat> maybe five. Don't know, I'm not wearing my watch these days, but uh, I've sorted out where I'm staying for the night. There's been a lot of wind blowing through this canyon, as there typically is at certain times of night in these canyons. So, I had to find a place that was sheltered, and I wanted to try and find a place that was sort of warm too because uh, staying warm has been an issue so uh, here I am I'm in this little spot here this is basically where my stuff is is where my bed's gonna go okay and over here is a, like a semi warm stream kind of cool but not cold so it's got some warmness to it and over here there is like hot water like like baby it's like the temperature you would give a bath a baby a bath in so um and also all this brush here is like blocking the wind which is coming from this direction so this is where i'm bedding down for the night and i think it's going to be it feels substantially warmer here than it did up a little bit higher Wind is cut down, and I got bath water right next to me. All right. Well, uh, peace. All right, so good morning. Morning of day four. And my food rations are getting a little bit low, which is good. Takes down my weight in my pack. I've got some oatmeal and some some nuts and raisins and seeds and stuff. Oh, I don't know if you guys can hear me very well, but anyway, uh, so I've been up since probably about oh I don't know 5:30. Started a fire, trying to keep warm. Made myself some tea, ate my breakfast, which was. Uh, some three sisters stew which I was able to kind of warm up next to the fire a little bit it was left over from last night so now I'm getting ready to pack up I'm at Willet hot or sorry uh, Sespi hot springs right now I'm getting ready to pack up and uh, head up to the hot springs Let's go have a soak probably about uh, 7 637 in the morning go warm up uh, it's like baby bath water temperature down here and then up the stream way up there it's so hot you can hardly get in it so somewhere in between there's going to be a pool where i'll be able to soak for a good get a good half hour 40 minute soak and then i'm off back down to willet and my plan is i'll camp at willet tonight and then hike back out tomorrow and uh looks like i'll have just enough food to do that uh Anyway, I gotta get packed up and get ready to go. Let me throw a little bit more food. This wonderful bark on the fire. All right. Well, peace, everyone. See you later. All right, so here we are at Sespi Hot Springs. 
It's about 8 o'clock in the morning, the sun's starting to hit. It's basically this big valley filled with like boulders. Here's the hot spring creek right here. And I'm guessing like right here is a good spot. Because last night or last yesterday afternoon or evening, I was up there by that second group of palms and it was like so hot couldn't spend more than a minute or two in it. So I'm gonna try it down here. Oh, so beautiful. It's really a cool area, actually. When you get up by those palms, there's like big groves of like cactuses and right next to the palms. All right, here we go. All right, it is uh, Day four of my five day expedition. Uh, I was at uh, Sespe Hot Springs last night and it was great. I had a really nice soak this morning. Uh, and then I headed out, packed up, headed out, um, and headed back to Willet Hot Springs. And here's what it looks like. Uh, this is where I came from this morning. Okay, you can see right over here, I came down here and through this valley here, and then up this slope. And just uh, just on the other side of that uh, hill, on the other side there is uh, Willet Hot Springs. You go up, you go up to the this side on that canyon there. It's about an hour from here. And then, here's my pack. Uh, here's where I'm headed. This is back towards Willet, and yeah, uh, I have to go, I think, I don't know exactly where the trail is, but over here somewhere. All right, well, I better get going. I, uh, my pack's getting lighter, thank God. I've got a, a blister on the... Uh, up near my toes on my left foot but you know it's it feels like it's healing up a little bit so it should be good Hi. All right. Well, here we are. This is near Willet Hot Springs. There's some cabins, and I happen to get one for the evening. Uh, so here it is. Here's the cabin I'll be staying in this evening. It'll shelter me from the wind. It's got a nice fire pit, and a chair, and a picnic table. other old storage cabins or something over there. Here's my view in my front yard of my cabin. And here's what it looks like inside the cabin. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Here's my bed for the night. All right, there's a couple of bunk beds here. Started reading that book. It's pretty good, actually. I'm enjoying it. Uh, and then there's a bunch of random stuff in here and a lot of artwork. There's an old stove. Some sheeting to protect from the wind.
All right, and there it is, the view out my front door. Uh, here's where I stayed a couple nights ago. It's actually right next to where I'm staying tonight. I stayed in that little single cabin there, which is nothing in really, just a bunk bed. And this looks like it was used as a, it's been used as a hunting camp. I don't know, maybe it was a homestead at some point, but there's a couple tables. A couple actually camped there and uh, shared shared this spot with me a couple nights ago. Down here, there's a kind of a, like a cellar thingy. Anyway, kind of a cool spot.